Hello everybody, in this tutorial I am going to show you how to install Lubuntu 14 on your PC Duino. As you can see I am using Windows, so in this tutorial you, are, you will learn how to do it on Windows. The method we are going to use is Windows 32 or Win32 Disk Imager. So the first step we are going to do is actually to download everything we need for this. So if you go on PC Duino website, you can find this download tab here, click it. And after that, as you can see, you will have operating system images. Uh, of course, you have here a lot of versions of these images according to which actually PC Duino you have. In my case, it's PC Duino 3, but you can choose whatever version you have. After you choose your version, you will have images for that particular version, in this case PC Duino 3. And as I said, uh, we, are, we will install Ubuntu 40. And the method we are going to we are going to use is Win32 Disk Image Write. So the first thing we will download is actually this software. And if you scroll down to the bottom of the page, you will have tools. And one of the tools will be Win Disk Win32 Disk Imager. So open it, and it will download. And download that. So the download is finished as you can see and of course the other thing we are going to download is actually the image of operating system we are going to install in this case is Ubuntu 14 so under this tab under this title uh, find this when, when place where, where you can where you have link and after that it, it has to be written use image use Win32 Disk Image Write or DD. So this is the uh, good version for us. This one is for using Live Suite or Phoenix card. So download this one and download will start. So after your image is downloaded we can proceed to the process of burning this image to the micro SD card which we will use afterwards for burning this image to our PC Duino. Now you can close your browser since we won't need it anymore. And if you open the your downloads folder you will find these two files that we have just downloaded so now the next step is actually to install the win32 disk imager so you can extract the content of this file here it is so as you can see the new file has been created and this is it so you can delete the old one and of course if you click on this application it this application will be installed so wait some time and actually just install this application oh actually <laughs> uh, this application doesn't have to be installed as you can see so it's already opened okay so as you can assume the next step is actually to put our micro SD card into our computer so here I have this card reader but you can use any method you know so here is my micro SD adapter I will put my micro SD card in it and then put the all, all together into my card reader
so after we put everything in our computer including our memory card as you can see my memory card is in here so you should ens ensure that uh, actually your computer recognized your memory card so now open the win32 disk imager as we did it last time so go on the place you have downloaded it extracted it and just open it here it is so click on this button here where you can see this icon folder icon and now locate the our image and our image is actually in downloads yeah but you uh, the thing we have actually forgot is to extract because that's that's why it didn't recognize it uh, it automatically so first exit this win32 disk imager go in your downloads folder and extract this file as well the ex extraction process does not take long so after the process is once finished you will have another file here and this one will contain actual disk image so you can you can delete this one since we don't need it anymore and now you can open the win32 disk imager and click on this folder icon and now you will see in your downloads folder in this file we have just extracted this system image click on it and click open and now we, we as you can see we have found this system image we will put on our micro SD card and the only thing is left is actually to select your uh, micro SD card as you can see the only device here I have is micro SD card and that's the, maybe the most easier thing you can do because it will be only one recognized so you, you can only select that one but if you have multiple devices uh, in your computer you can simply uh, determine which one is your micro SD card after this just click right click yes and wait until this process is actually finished so as you can see this process is finishing and when it finishes you will have the message that this write was successful if you don't get this message it means something went wrong and you should try to do this process once more if you have any questions and if something is wrong uh, at your place you may comment on this video and we will try to solve it together so after this you may close the win32 disk imager and also this folder so now we have finished with preparing our micro SD card for the building uh, for the installing actually this Lubuntu 214 on our PC Duino so now you can just eject this USB mass storage device just for safety and that's it now we will proceed with the actual installation of this image on our PC Duino. So now as you can see I have two things here. Uh, one is my micro SD card on which I have put this Lubuntu 14 image and the other thing is my PC Duino. So the first thing I will do is that I will put this micro SD card into my PC Duino and now the only thing left is just to power cycle this PC Duino so I will give I will turn on my PC Duino I will power cycle it so that it has power so that the uh, installation process can actually start as you can see the light is on and the thing you will notice 
is this blinking TX LED. And the only thing now you should do is to wait until this TX light is actually off. Once this TX light stops blinking, it means that this installation is finished. Hopefully, it's finished successfully. So, as you can see, in my situation, this TX LED is now off, so it means the process of flashing this NAND, uh, this image to NAND, is finished. Uh, as you may have noticed, this process actually takes quite long, much longer than it used to take before when we have been using uh, two steps in the installation. Firstly, the kernel and then the uh, OS installation. However, now you may power off your PC Duino. So as you can see, my LED is off now. And the next thing is left is only to pull out the micro SD card from the PC Duino. Now, the next step is actually to power on again PC Duino to see if this process actually went fine or not. Okay, so as I said, the only thing left is actually to try to boot up in this Lubuntu 14 to power cycle this PC Duino again. So, as you may, may have seen, I have put out, pulled out the micro SD card from our PC Duino since process of installation is finished and also as you can see I have connected the HDMI cable to this monitor here and if we are lucky we will see that very soon PC Duino boots up into Lubuntu 14 so now I will power cycle the PC Duino and it goes up as you can see and here we have nice picture it says PC Duino 3 and it's starting to boot up and with some luck we will see how Lubuntu 14 actually looks on the PC Duino now the graphical user interface is starting and as you can see the process of installation is successful and you are just looking into new PC Duino with Lubuntu 14 and as you can see it's Alex DE desktop environment. In the meantime I have just put the mouse in on our on my PC Duino just so I can show you that this is actually indeed Lubuntu 14. So I will go here on shutdown and as always you will see the version of the software we have on our PC Duino and as you can see it's 14.04 Lubuntu with Alex DE desktop environment. Thanks for watching and I hope so that this video will help you. If you have any questions, you may ask them on forum linksprike forum.linksprike.com or you may just leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.